Welcome back to Power Lunch. The United States doling out another $6.4 billion from the CHIPS Act. Samsung will use that money to expand chip production at its plant in central Texas. And that's where our Megan Casella is alongside Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo. Megan? Contessa, thanks so much. And Secretary Raimondo, thanks so much for being with us. Great to be here. Officials have said that this award for Samsung today, along with the recent awards for TSMC and Intel, completes that three-legged stool of advanced chip manufacturing in the U.S. So can you put that in context for us? What does it mean for the U.S. semiconductor industry and the companies depending on those semiconductors? Yeah, so we're on a roll. This is our third huge announcement in a month. Uh, first Intel, then TSMC, and now Samsung. Our goal is to go from making 0% of leading edge semiconductors in this country to 20% by the end of the decade. And with this announcement, I feel confident we're going to get there. And in the process, create hundreds of thousands of jobs for Americans. What's unique about this award specifically? You, I know you've called it an ecosystem of manufacturing. Yes, so what they're doing here uh, is millions and millions of square feet of new development. It's unbelievable. It's going to be twice as big as their signature facility in Korea, and it will be uh, manufacturing, but also packaging, also research and development, and they're going to have a workforce training center right on the campus. Uh, and I think they're also going to have a child care center right on the campus. So it's like a, it's a little city of manufacturing, and around it will come suppliers. So when I say the whole ecosystem, it's research and development, packaging, manufacturing, job training, uh, and all of the uh, upstream suppliers, which will make America stronger and more secure. Mm -hmm. With such a massive facility like you've been talking about, are you concerned at all about hiring challenges? I think you said this is supposed to create some 21,000 jobs, but Taylor, Texas, where we are, I think population is about 17,000. It is a challenge. You know, it is a challenge. Uh, I would say under President Biden's leadership, we have a low unemployment rate, which is a great thing. But if you're trying to hire 10,000 workers, it's a challenge. Samsung is working very closely with my office. Part of their grant, we gave them $40 million to build a, a job training facility and semiconductor job training curriculum. And that's what we need to do. We need to train folks, train folks in local high schools. Um, after this, I'm going to a local community college. They're going to be starting a new semiconductor training initiative at the community college. So it's a challenge, but it's an exciting challenge, and I think we'll meet the challenge. In Japan, we saw a TSMC plant go from planning to production in less than two years. In the U.S., we saw TSMC announce some delays, and other companies have as well. What's your response to criticism that the speed with which the CHIPS Act is moving is still hurting our competitiveness globally? Uh, we're going as fast as we can, and I think it's actually an unbelievable pace. In this facility right here, for example, they've built over 4.5 million square feet from nothing to what you see in 18 months. It's extraordinary. Uh, and other companies are doing the same. So, you know, we're committed to safety. We're committed to safety of the construction workers and safety of the folks working inside the fabs uh, and also speed. Uh, of course, once you do it once, the second time gets easier, and I think they're learning that here. I'd say we're right on path, and we're going to hit our goal by 20 percent leading edge capacity made in America by 2030. We're still a few years away from production here, and some of the folks in industry I've talked to who have concerns about this say that what they call red tape, providing child care, for example, is part of what's slowing things down. How do you respond to critics like that? You know, that's just ridiculous. If you talk to the senior executives of Samsung, as I have done today, and you ask them what are they concerned about, they will say workforce, exactly what you said. They need workers to build the fabs and be inside the fabs, which means you need to do investments in job training. You need to do investments in worker training. You need to make sure people have childcare so women can work. You know, I just had uh, an occasion to meet with a young woman who's the engineering construction manager. She's got to be on the site at 6 in the morning and work all day. Child care is something that matters. So I think it's not a social program. It's smart investments to make sure this is successful.